Okay, guys. I'm Reverend Mike Kilpatrick with the Lighthouse Pathfinder Youth Group. Good day. Uh, I'm doing a continuation on our uh, pattern a series that I started, and hopefully I'm getting a little better at this. Uh, I'm going to try to show you the front and back side of these targets. But anyway, we're going to be patterned today using the Remington 870 Youth Model in an 18-inch barrel. Uh, you know, we, I showed you in the last video the uh, Indian Creek choke tube with the heavy 13 number sixes uh, is a 50 yard gun all day long. Well, we're going to find out what XR is doing today with their number six shot. I finally got that in with UPS today. I've been excited about it. You know, we knew the five shot didn't work out too good. Uh, it shows some promise, maybe with the right choke tube. Uh, it would do a good job. I've heard, read some good reviews on it, but it's not what I'm looking for with the two choke tubes I have, which is the Carson Longbeard XR uh, made for the 20 gauge number six shot in that new Longbeard ammo. Uh, it does not advocate the five shot, but we tried it in it. Uh, but anyhow, uh, we're going to see today what the Winchester number six will do. Uh, also today, maybe as a bonus, I've got some heavy 13 number sevens. Uh, probably wouldn't use a seven at 50 yards or maybe even 60, but we might put that in that Indian Creek choke tube uh, and see what it'll do and maybe even send one down range with the new uh, Longbeard XR choke tube by Carson. Uh, but until then, uh, let's get started and uh, y'all bear with me. And, Hopefully this video is better than the last one that I did because I didn't get my targets in there showing y'all the backside. Uh, but maybe uh, maybe this will work out today. So uh, let me get set up and uh, we'll check you later. Salon. Okay, we're pretty much set up today. I'm going to start off with a 50 yard shot with this number six with the Carson XR in there. Uh, I just want to see, I've got a clean board here so I can see if I'm going left or right or whatever the case may be with my pattern. And y'all can too, I hope. Uh, but anyway, uh, uh, I'm just going to do some brief talking, uh, you know, let you know what I'm shooting and what I'm using. I'm using the uh, uh, Vortex Ranger range finder and uh, I'm set up now for uh, 50 and 60 yards. I'm just curious to see what this ammo is going to do and uh, again I'm not advocating anybody shoot at 50 or 60. Personally I'm going to shoot 50 yards with a 20 gauge with that with that gun. Again and I will with this XR if it pans out alright but I want, I'm real curious to see if I can get 60 out of that 20 gauge uh, 6 shot three inch. Uh, I, I'm hoping I can. So let's see. I'll try to get up my knees bad. I'm going to zero us in here. Hopefully this camera's out of the way. Uh, Y'all have to excuse me again, I'm not a camera nut, so. I'm gonna leave it back out just a little bit so maybe we can see around that board as well. Okay, I'll be back in a little bit. Got some shot right down in here. I don't know if y'all can see them a little bit, uh, but I've got a lot up here and I ain't right here at the top of his head. Uh, so let me see if I can now get this in frame. Hello, look here, boys. That's a dead turkey. Now that's uh, the Carson XR. 
uh, shooting the uh, long beard XR number six shot. That's 50 yards right there. Dead turkey all day long. That really speaks more for itself. Uh, but anyway, let me get another target up here. I'm tickled that I got the aim dead center on it. I'm going to aim dead center in the same place because I had a right smart shot up here. Unbelievable. Uh, but I'm going... I'm going back 60, and we're going to see, we see if she holds together. Be back in a minute. Heavy 13. Long beard. Let's see what we got here, boys. Fellas, I, I'm probably going to shoot another one. Uh, we got a 60 yard gun here. Let's see what we got. Hello. There we are. I uh, aim the same place. Uh, uh, that's a good even pattern. Now that's with the uh, again with Carson uh, Longbeard XR choke tube made for the uh, made for the Longbeard XR number six shot and 20 gauge. This is out of 870 youth barrel, uh, 18 inches long. Man, super running gun uh, deal, and, and maybe now even a blind setup. But let's put another one up. Let's see if we can duplicate this. If we can, hello, let's try it, all right? Uh, let me get up from here if I can. I'll be back in just a minute. Talk to me, long beard. What do we got? Fellas, we got a 60 yard gun. I'm not going back 70 with it. Uh, I believe shot's too light uh, for 70 or, or that far, maybe. We may do it. <laughs> Y'all know me. Let's go ahead and stretch her out, you under. Uh, what I'm concerned with is my barrel length and having enough speed at 70 yards to kill a turkey. But I aimed right here at the top of his head. Need, need I say more? So there you go, boys. Um, I know I didn't get this in frame last time, but I'm working on my video. And, and I hope y'all see this. This target's eat up. So I'm not, I'm not afraid at 60 yards of this 20 gauge now. Uh, I, I believe it'll do it. I know there's people out there that's going to argue me that it ain't got enough foot pounds or speed for the pellet, but it'll kill turkeys. I believe that. I believe it. Uh, I believe that's why Winchester designed it. Now, they'd never advocate it or tell you that, but uh, this is my new round for my 20 gauge. Uh, I still got that heavy 13 for backup, but when you look at the shell cost per box, I can't justify it. Uh, you're talking $22 for heavy shot 13 uh, for five shells, and you can buy a box of these uh, for, I think, 20, 21 for 10. So, uh, 
here's my new go-to round. I believe I, I'll get her done next year. I ain't afraid to get caught in the ground blind in the edge of a cow pasture or a corn field. I believe I got something that'll reach and touch him. Okay, uh, I'll tell you what, I am going to throw 170 at it. I'm just curious to see, see, if my, see what I've got left. Uh, of course, I'm going to probably aim a little higher. Uh, but before I do that, I'm going to try this uh, heavy number 7 out of it at 60. Now, the reason I want to do that, I want to see if I got a pattern. Because now remember, the heavy shot's heavier than lead. So I may actually have more pellets at 60 yards with that 7 shot, which would be equivalent to about a 6 shot in lead, I think, if that would break down right. But I want to see what that'll do. We're going to do that first since I'm set up for 60. And uh, we're going to put a heavy number 7 shot in there. And I'm going to run it through that Carson's choke tube first. And then uh, we're going to look. We may go with the, uh, after that, we may go with the uh, 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 Indian Creek choke tube and see. So, again, here we go. Longbeard XR with heavy shot number 7, 60 yards. That's going to be our next shot. They're going to have to excuse me. i got a buddy of mine out here. Okay. Let me go up there and see if I can get a round off. Well, let me just stop it here. We'll run it back in there. Okay, heavy 13, number 7, 60 yards out of a long beard XR choke tube. I believe the heavy sevens would do it, uh, but they're still not as good as the long beard. Yeah. But that's dead turkey. Yeah. That is uh, 60 yards with heavy 13 number sevens out of a Carson long beard XR choke tube. Okay, guys, we're going to do this uh, X, uh, Long Beard XR number six shot out of the Carson uh, XR tube, 20 gauge, 870 youth model, 18 inch barrel at 70 yards. I'm curious, not that I might would take a turkey that far with that 20 gauge with six shot because of the barrel length mainly. It's the barrel length I'm concerned about because we're probably losing some foot pounds per second or feet per second out of it and we're losing energy uh, as we go back so let's just see I'm curious we're going to see what happens He's dead, but not yeah. not by a whole bunch. No. <laughs> He's 
spine. There's two right there together, I think, in the spine. Right there. Right One back in the head. head there. Yeah. Right there, probably kill him. Yeah, that one would. And that one. That one. one that there. one. I believe that's stretching it a bit, just a yeah. Yes, yeah, that may be stretched a little far. Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, but you know, a, I didn't aim any low, any higher. Yeah, I put it right it, top of his head. Now, it, if I would aim a little bit higher, all that down in there might have been in there. Yeah. If you aim a little lower, these right here would have been down in here. Yeah. You know, you know that's that's one of them deals where. Yeah, as you, uh, as you can see right there, uh, we've got about three or four, three or four good shots in the head, uh -huh. and that's about it. That's spreading it a little bit thin, and I thought probably so anyway. But I had to see, and I know y'all would have been curious too if I hadn't showed you. Yeah. So anyhow, there we go. We're gonna, but we got a sixty-yard gun now. Uh huh. So let me uh. I'm going to try, hopefully I'm in the frame. Uh, had to finish up or <laughs> batteries run out. <laughs> Seems like there's something always with my videos that I'm trying to post. Uh, but anyway, uh, I'm trying to get this in here for us. Uh, again, I don't know if y'all can see this, but this is 60 yards uh, out of the Youth Model 870, uh, 20 gauge, 18 inch barrel. Uh, Carson XR Long Beard Choke Tube, the Long Beard XR number six shot, 60 yards. Uh, right here, same setup at 50 yards. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, uh, but anyhow, uh, that's the best I can do. I know you've seen it on the paper out there. Just, uh, but just to recap, I didn't really get to go with Manny Creek Choke Tube on the heavy 13 number sevens. Uh, we do know the sevens will shoot 60, uh, about as good as the sixes out of the long beard. I didn't check it out of the Indian Creek though, might have been better. Uh, 70 yards with that, either one of them, I personally, I just wouldn't recommend. Uh, not out of 18 inch barrel, I, I just really believe you're losing too many feet per second and uh, also too much uh, downrange energy. Uh, so I know there's proper terminology for that, but anyway, for lack of a better term, <laughs> uh, just losing too much speed. But I, I'm confident with 60 yards, regardless, of, I know people's going to critique me and tell me I'm crazy and you shouldn't do it, and it's in, uh, probably uh, inhumane and all that, but that gun will kill turkeys at 60 yards. Uh, say what you will, uh, y'all want to keep it in the 40 yards, that's fine, but... Uh, but I believe I'm good with that. So until later, this is Pastor Mike with the Lighthouse Pathfinder Youth Organization. Uh, God bless, and until next time, y'all have a good day. Salo.